Okay, good morning, Tuesday the 10th of April. Just packing away here on the campsite. And we're going to be heading yeah, on the same road we was on yesterday, the old road to Athens. Runs parallel to the motorway, I'll be on that all day. Not too sure yet how interesting the sights are going to be. But uh, it's mainly just following the, the coast road here. Uh, I will say it's because our bottles have been really dirty, so we want we want to do it fresh again because because there was mud in here from the bike. Dirt. Yeah, dirt. So yes, and now we have washed it up in no, the washing machine. <laughs> so. Yeah. so we'll pack away here, get rolling, and see what today brings. I don't think it's going to be the big adventure that we've had on the western coast of Greece and Albania, but we'll see. Just a normal standard cycling day, maybe. We'll see how it goes. Okay, bikes are ready to roll again. On the way to Athens this way. Sometimes the breakfast locations are not that fantastic. Today we are sitting in a strange place like here, do you think? I didn't want to buy something from an open mini bag yesterday. Thought it was good enough. So there will come something else. That had everything we needed, but never mind. But we couldn't eat on the camera side, so we had to buy on into the town here. And we found a supermarket with everything we needed, but no obvious place to sit. And now it's time to get home because now we want something to eat. So today we have to sit here and eat. Not every day can be fantastic locations. But we got food and the sun is shining so. Well the Easter celebrations are finished now. Everybody's back to work but they're left with huge piles of waste on the side of the road everywhere. Every few hundred meters there's just a huge stack. There's just another one there. I've never seen that before in Greece. First today. The good thing is everything is open again. So no problem this morning finding shops that are open like yesterday when we didn't find anything. Well from one place we did and then <laughs> I thought it would be something else a bit further down the road but there wasn't. <laughs> but, uh, the bin men have got a big job to do when they get back to work. Now this is the road we're going to be following for most of the day. So good views of the mountains there. Somewhere behind there is Mount Kalini, I think it's called. That's one of the or the highest mountain in Peloponnese, 2,300 meters high, I think it is. to spend the rest of the day cycling down here. It's not the big amazing scenery of the past week but uh, mainly a transport day just to get us to where some of the ancient sites are. We're heading for Corinth where they built a canal, the Corinth Canal. Divides, makes, turns Peloponnese into an island. Probably going to be there tomorrow. Now we have managed to bike more in Sweden and Sweden was 1,545 and now we have cycled 1,570 kilometers. So that is good and in Sweden we was uh, biking in six weeks and here we have bike a little bit more than a month so yes. I think it's more or less the same of course. I think we have bike five weeks now. <coughs> I think in Sweden the actual biking I think that was probably five weeks as well. Mm. So it's probably the same. 
Mm. Our air mattresses that we sleep on in the tent, they've been going down for the past few weeks, so we keep blowing them up twice a night, you know, three times a night. We mainly managed to talk to the shop in Denmark in Odense called Friluftsleer, and they've They've uh, told us they'll give us three new ones. So we'd met his mum and dad. Nina and Torben come to Athens in the end of next week. We'll get three new air mattresses. Today it's warm, so I will take my sunglasses on. Because uh, we was eating and so I think now I need to have my sunglasses on because now it's beginning to be warm. <laughs> yeah, nice. Nice, day. nice weather today. This is the first scenic view we've had to look at so far. So let's see what the day brings. I just just decided that today's film should be called The Day of Overfield Containers. That's basically what we've been looking at most of the day. One good thing about Greece is they may have built a new motorway up there but at least they kept the old road open here. What happened in Albania is the old road just wasn't maintained at all so we had no option but to use the motorway. Well, we turned up here on a real campsite again. Second night in the row, there's a campsite open. So I get this off a place down there. Finished early today. What mid has been dreaming of for a long time. <laughs> okay. Tent is up here on another official campsite. Let's go have a little walk around the town here. It's an extremely quiet place where we're staying today. Not much life apart from what's on our campsite. And then... There is actually life on the campsite. Yeah. <laughs> Something quite new to us. Yeah, true. And we also had that last night, but that's the first time we have experienced that. Yeah. So that's actually nice. Well, the Germans and English people in motor campus next to us. That's yeah. also something new. And it's also nice that it's quiet here in the town because yesterday they were right next to the motorway, so it's a bit of a noisy camping site. And we also had many nights camping in the nature where there's been dogs barking. So it's also nice for some nice and quiet. <laughs> and, uh, and the good thing because now the, the flowers you can see here begin to be real. Oh. And I think the first now the, the yeah the flower is coming out because now it's spring. Mm. Um, I think and you can see it's so beautiful. Yeah. Jamie's good at spotting things like that. <laughs> and you can also see here, they have lemon over here. And we was in, I think, in Croatia and Albania there was, in Croatia there was uh, orange trees. And so I can see so many lemon trees. But now we have come more south and now we can see lemon trees. But these are not so yellow, but over there are those. Hmm. They're more yellow. Yeah. I'm not used to seeing that, are we? The first shoots appearing on the, on the vines here. So that have saying there was some children over there. They have saying see some dolphins out there. And so I was going over here because I want to have the internet so the song get home here and that's it there are some dolphins over there so I was going over there and so I was so I can see a dolphin so I have seen four dolphins well, campsite with actually a bit of camping life 
The best one is open. They're making a nice Greek salad. And it's actually actually all the guests. So they were on the beach yet. Yeah, this is where Jamie saw dolphins earlier. We just had an evening on the campsite here with other camping guests. First time we've seen that really. We was planning to have a, a resting day here tomorrow. It's quite a few days we've been biking now. So we're starting to feel like we need a rest, but tomorrow's going to be cloudy all day and the day after that's going to be sunny. So then we'll carry on biking tomorrow one more day. It's about 68 kilometers until we get to the next campsite and then the day after that then it should be sunny all day. So then we'll have a rest there instead of tomorrow. So that's the plan. Tomorrow we'll bike to Corinth and we're actually finished with all the northern road here on the northern part of Peloponnese. So uh, after that we'll be heading south for a short distance to some see some of the ancient sites. That'll be quite good. So uh, that was today. Not the big adventure, but that's the way it is. So uh, see you in the morning. What do you bye think, bye. Jamie? You can't see you. Jamie's too dark. <laughs> one thing I want to say is, you know, can see me, and it's yeah, man. It was here. I w I have seen uh, the dolphins and mom and me. We are going up and brush our teeth. Hmm. <laughs> so we can sleep all night. While Andrew is making a video, I'm eating his lunch. <laughs> so now I have to stop because I need some of that boric. <laughs> What's Jamie doing? Take my sunglasses on. Okay, Mr. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>